And the big story tonight off the top at five, Virginia's governor wants parents to stay engaged with their local school board. We know that Glenn Youngkin rode a wave of parental anger on his way to the governor's mansion last year. Yeah, and today the governor rallying with supporters in Annandale. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald live there tonight. Uh, and Fitz, you spoke to the governor this afternoon. We did remember it was almost exactly a year ago that Glenn candidate Glenn Youngkin seized upon those Loudoun County parents who were concerned about what was being taught in their child's schools and how it was being taught today. The governor returning here to Northern Virginia in Annandale, surrounded by school children and supporters, and he says he's only getting started. Now, before he took the stage, Governor Youngkin spoke with Fox 5 today to speak about a number of issues. For example, he says he is going to pressure schools and continue his efforts to include parental voices in curriculum choices. He also endorsed school resource officers for the city of Alexandria. That has been a point of dispute of late. And here in Fairfax, the governor says the Commonwealth needs to do a better job of reporting, especially in light of a recent Fairfax school employee who was fired after it was determined that it had been previously arrested for soliciting a minor. In short, the governor's message today to parents, stay engaged. It's stay focused in your kids' lives, and, and I, we are working every day in order to not just reinforce but further parents' participation. It's about transparency in what's going on in their kids' schools. It's about being fully informed about what's happening in their child's lives. Now, this comes on the heels of just yesterday, a Virginia judge throwing out a lawsuit by two Republican politicians asking them to ban Virginia Beach schools and the Barnes & Noble book company from selling two books to minors, them being a gender queer and a court of mist and fury. The ask was that they be prohibited from selling these books to children without parental consent. That eventually was thrown out. Delegate Tim Anderson from Virginia Beach tells Fox 5 he believes this is an issue of parental rights. However, others we spoke to have differing opinions. These books are too graphic, too sexual for kids just to go take on their own without parents having any say whatsoever. Restoring parental rights was always the goal of this lawsuit. If their parents are going to allow that, them to read a, a naughty book, then their parents are, the, are in charge of that child. And allow the parent to make the decision of what's appropriate for their child. Like, I don't think the government should be deciding what is and isn't okay. The governor was joined here today by Republican Attorney General Jason Miaris, who's also been a vocal advocate of school resource officers. And Jim, on one side note, the governor also today said he hasn't given up on a Virginia stadium for the Washington Commanders. He says he's trying to work out a new financial formula that would gain support in the General Assembly. However, Jim, there's no timeline on that just right now. All right, lots going on in Virginia. Thanks, Fitz. And that brings us to our Fox 5 Live Instable question. Should parents have a say in what's taught in schools? So far, 88% of you say yes. You can vote on fox5dc.com or in the Fox 5 News app.